Another beautiful resident bird we get in Bonaire is the Caribbean flamingo, or the American flamingo, but we like to call them the Caribbean flamingo, and they are one of the most pinkest flamingos you'll see. Uh, and actually, that color pink, as many of you probably know, comes from their diet. So they feed on all sorts of crustaceans and mollusks and worms. And what they get from those crustaceans is something called beta carotene. And that goes through the blood into their feathers and makes them pink, which is gorgeous. Uh, but one of the neat things about Bonaire, Stinapa, we, we go out and, along with Cargill and the local government, we do monthly counts of their population because uh, there's only, they breed here, and this is only one of four places where these, this species breeds. So it's really important that we keep track of them and protect them as best we can. So we do monthly counts, and we have a large breeding site in the southern part of the island in Pecomir. It's near Cargill Salt. And we also have flamingos feeding everywhere throughout Washington Slagby Park, Godomir Slagby, and you can see them easily because they're not easily frightened from people. They're very large birds. You've seen them. They can get as tall as I am, like a meter and a half, and they have long wingspans. And when they're ready to breed, uh, it's beautiful to see their courtship display. The male and female will come together and they'll start uh, doing their neck side to side and they'll flap their feathers a bit and they're trying to choose a mate for the season and then they build this beautiful little mud tower uh, and then they'll lay their eggs. Hopefully, well, most certainly, you'll get the chance to see a flamingo in Bonaire. Um, but if you do, don't enter the salinas where they're feeding or nesting because you'll definitely scare them away. So just keep your distance and, uh, and give them their space. <laughs>